So the New York Attorney General's office released details about their investigation into the Trump organization, and the details are absolutely devastating, specifically for Donald Trump along with his children. So NBC News correspondent Tom Winters explains former President Donald Trump, Donald Trump Jr., and Ivanka Trump are all alleged to have been involved in either overseeing or arranging financial misstatements to financial and insurance institutions, says the New York Attorney General in a court filing docketed tonight. So pause for a second and just let these details sink in. We're looking at a situation where Donald Trump, the former president, and his children were directly engaged in alleged fraudulent activity. This is absolutely huge. And there's even more details that don't look great for Donald Trump, to say the least. That's an understatement. But here's what Jake Johnson of Common Dreams explains. Former President Donald Trump's son, Eric Trump, invoked the Fifth Amendment more than 500 times over the course of a six-hour deposition to avoid answering questions as part of the New York Attorney General Letitia James's ongoing civil probe of the Trump Organization. That detail was made public late Tuesday as part of a 115-page filing that James submitted to the Supreme Court of New York in an effort to compel Donald Trump, his eldest son Trump Jr., and his daughter Ivanka Trump to testify under oath as part of the investigation which began in 2019. The new legal document outlines James's case that Trump and his family business, quote, falsely and fraudulently valued multiple assets and misrepresented those values to financial institutions for economic benefit. Eric Trump, who has served as an officer at the Trump Organization, was deposed by the New York Attorney General's office in October of 2020. A month earlier, longtime Trump Organization Chief Financial Officer Alan Weiselberg sat for his sworn testimony to James's office. During the five and a half hour deposition, Weiselberg invoked his Fifth Amendment right against self incrimination to more than 500 questions, the new filing states. As the New York Times observed Tuesday, the latest development in the James investigation came as the Trump Organization is already under indictment in Manhattan. So there's a lot that they don't want to get out. There's a lot that they don't want to answer for. And before we dive any deeper, I would be remiss to not show you what Donald Trump said about individuals who plead the fifth. Have you seen what's going on in front of Congress? Fifth Amendment, Fifth Amendment, Fifth Amendment. Horrible. Horrible. The mob takes the fifth. If you're innocent, why are you taking the Fifth Amendment? When you have your staff taking the Fifth Amendment, taking the fifth so they're not prosecuted. I think it's disgraceful. Well, you heard it straight from the horse's mouth. The mob takes the fifth. Interesting. So why is it that Donald Trump's son, Eric Trump, and his close associate, Weiselberg, are pleading the fifth more than 500 times during their depositions? What are you hiding? I mean, this is not my logic. This is Donald Trump's logic. So clearly, if you're pleading the fifth, especially that much, you're trying to avoid prosecution. And after looking at these details, this might actually be one of the rare instances, not to get your hopes up, where a public official is actually held accountable for their fraudulent activity. Now, let's look at the actual release from the attorney general's office, because, I mean, this is just devastating. So the Trump organization uh, misstated objective facts like the size of Mr. Trump's Trump Tower penthouse, miscategorized assets outside Mr. Trump's or Trump organization's control as cash, thereby overstating his liquidity, misstated the process by which Mr. Trump or his associates reached valuations, including deviations from generally accepted accounting principles in ways that the statements did not disclose. And there's a lot more there, obviously. It also goes on to explain that they're looking into whether or not the Trump organization misrepresented the source of financial valuations to insurance companies and possibly financial institutions. And they found evidence that the Trump organization, quote, submitted fraudulent or misleading valuations to the IRS. Holy shit. So to say that this is very serious would be the understatement of a century. Donald Trump is in big trouble. They have him dead to rights. They've backed him into a corner. And now Trump, he doesn't really have much room left. How is he going to evade prosecution at this point? Again, the Trump organization is already under indictment in Manhattan. So how is he going to get away with this? It seems implausible, right? Well, there's actually one way that he could, in theory, get away with this, at least temporarily. 
he could choose to run for president again and get that sweet, sweet executive immunity. And this isn't just me speculating. So in response to this news, Maggie Haberman of the New York Times explains any question of whether Trump runs seems to have been answered this morning. His aides have always signaled that if the investigations progressed, that he would run for president again. To which Jordan Sheridan responded saying, isn't it so American that con man Trump's best chance of staying out of prison is running for president again? Oh, it's very American, Jordan. It's as American as apple pie. So Trump might not have a choice, regardless if he wants to run for president or not. The only way he can effectively shield himself from prosecution is to become president again and then get legal immunity. It's it's wild, but it's not too wild for the United States. So he, he basically has no choice. If he doesn't run for president, then he has no immunity. He has to run for president to protect himself. And his aides have long maintained that this is his go-to option if, you know, the walls kind of close in on him. And that is indeed the case. The walls are definitely closing in on him uh, and his family. And look, still, there's there's a bit of pessimism in me that thinks maybe there's going to be some way that he finagles his way out of this mess. I don't know, but the easiest and safest thing that he can do, unfortunately, because he still is so popular within the GOP, is to run for president. So Trump and his family are in trouble. He may be forced to run for president. And it's not just Donald Trump, his son, his daughter, people close to him, associates at the Trump organization, they may all also go down with him. You love to see it. Mike is a total shit lip. Once he started chilling for the DNC, I stopped watching. So I definitely won't be hitting the subscribe button or turning on notifications by clicking the bell. No way. It's very sad, I know.